Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Mel Kuyper Jr. has the 49ers selecting a player with ties to the McCaffrey family. We've discussed why the San Francisco 49ers must add competition at right tackle in the NFL draft. Many draft pundits are penciling in one of the top offensive linemen to the Niners at pick number 31. ESPN's Mel Kuyper Jr. was no different in a mock draft he released on Wednesday. It's a new name that has ties to the McCaffrey family, Washington's offense was littered with NFL talent. Their quarterback, three wide receivers, and both offensive tackles will be drafted within the first three rounds this month. The draft community would view this as a reach. Most draft guides have Rosengarten rated closer to 90 than 30 overall. Rosengarten is a promising athlete who shows quickness to cut off linemen and does a solid job of playing inside-out in pass protection. But his hand size, arm length, wingspan, and weight are all in the 30th percentile or worse. He's also the opposite of a Mike McGlinchey in the strength department, as getting movement in the running game or latching on and sustaining blocks is not Rosengarten's strong suit. He is a four-year sophomore, so there's room to grow his game and get stronger. This selection would be the 49ers telling us they feel there's a steep drop-off at the tackle position, and they wouldn't be confident in another tackle falling to them in the next round that is starting caliber-worthy. Kuiper Jr. also made a selection in the second round at pick number 63 for the Niners, the Baltimore Ravens took Kansas State guard Cooper Beebe at 62, while the Kansas City Chiefs selected BYU offensive tackle Kingsley Swamataya at 64. So, two players sandwiched in between Phillips, who are a round or two better than Rosengarten. That'd be tough to swallow, especially knowing the organizations both prospects went to and how impressive they are at developing talent. Phillips is small by any measure, struggles to tackle in the open field, and needs help guarding bigger wideouts. He's a prospect that will likely fall to the fourth round. Both of these picks would be viewed as reaches, and I'm not sure either fits what the Niners are looking for at their respective positions. Report Former San Francisco 49ers player urges Brandon Ayuk to consider trade to New England Patriots. The San Francisco 49ers may not be telling the public that Brandon Ayuk is available for trade, but those around the league are acting as if he's on the trade block. A former teammate of Ayuk recently reached out to the 49ers star wide receiver to urge him to join the New England Patriots. The 49ers and Ayuk are reportedly not close in negotiations for a long-term deal. While the 49ers said last month they have no plans to trade Ayuk, there have been suggestions the team might start exploring a trade close to the 2024 NFL draft. Ayuk wants to be paid like a true number one receiver, which would put him in the ballpark of approximately $30 million per year. The 49ers don't yet view him as a $30 million pass catcher. With quarterback Brock Purdy's looming contract extension coming in the 2025 offseason, the 49ers must realize they can't keep all their important pieces. The Pittsburgh Steelers have been suggested as a logical trade partner for Ayuk. But a new team could be in the mix. Per 49ers WebZone, former 49ers wide receiver Kendrick Bourne reached out to Ayuk on social media, however, if circumstances change, one of Ayuk's former teammates, Kendrick Bourne, expressed his desire to reunite with the receiver in New England. Bourne, a former fan favorite in the Bay Area, recently tried to recruit Ayuk via Instagram. The two were 49ers teammates in 2020, Bourne's last year with the team before signing with the Patriots. The Patriots could be an intriguing option for Ajax camp. The Patriots are expected to take a quarterback with the number three pick in the draft. Ajax would be a huge help for a rookie with a roster desperate for a pass catcher Ajax's two best seasons as a pro have been with Purdy playing in his rookie season, 2022, and his second, 2023, so he knows how to get along with young quarterbacks. Would the 49ers trade Ayuk if they could take the 34th overall pick in the draft from the Patriots? 
former third-round pick trying to join 49ers' Brock Purdy-led QB room. The San Francisco 49ers have found their quarterback of the present and future. But the 49ers still want to ensure they have ample backup options should Purdy ever suffer another injury. Kellen Mond, a former third-round NFL draft pick, is hoping San Francisco gives him that backup spot. The QB will be working out at San Francisco's local pro day on Wednesday, via Matt Mayako of NBC Sports. Mond will be amongst a trio of veteran tight ends hoping to make an impression on San Francisco. The Minnesota Vikings like what they saw from Mond entering the, the 2021 NFL Draft and used the 66th overall pick to select him. He appeared in just one game with the team, attempting three passes total. From there, Mond latched on with the Cleveland Browns and eventually Indianapolis Colts, but never saw the field. He's looking to prove he deserves another chance in San Francisco. Mond is only 24 years old and had a prolific career during his time at Texas A&M. He threw for 9,661 yards and 71 touchdowns, adding another 1,608 yards and 22 scores on the ground. Mond, Tim Tebow, and Dak Prescott are the only quarterbacks in SEC history to throw for over 9,000 yards and run for 1,500. While he hasn't necessarily had an opportunity to prove it on the field, Mond's production from college has not translated at the NFL level. To his credit, not many expected Brock Purdy to be a star with the 49ers. Mond will certainly need to put in a good pro day for the 49ers to consider signing him. At this stage of his career, all he is looking for is an opportunity. San Francisco has already made one major addition at quarterback in Joshua Dobbs. He spent the 2023 campaign auditioning as a potential starter throughout the NFL. Dobbs began with the Arizona Cardinals, starting eight games. He threw for 1,569 yards, eight touchdowns, and five interceptions. However, the Cardinals went just 1-7 to seven and he was traded to the Vikings, with Kyler Murray set to return. In Minnesota, Dobbs filled in for the suddenly injured Kirk Cousins. He was eventually benched for Nick Mullins after going 2-2 two to two and throwing for 895 yards, five touchdowns, and five interceptions. His whirlwind trip landed him San Francisco entering the 2024 season. The results may not have been glamorous, but his starting experience will be a valuable resource for San Francisco. If Kellen Mond wanted to earn a spot on the roster, he would first need to be signed and then beat out the current QB3, Brandon Allen. Allen had been with the Cincinnati Bengals since 2020, serving as a backup to Joe Burrow. He started six games over his tenure, going 1-5, to five, and throwing for 1,096 yards, seven touchdowns, and four interceptions. He doesn't have the same experience on the field as Dobbs, but Allen has still been around a successful NFL locker room. Mond will need to win San Francisco over with his physical traits if he wants to come back into the NFL with the 49ers. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Kellen Mond? Leave your opinion in the comments.